I have a great historical fiction book for you that is written in short little verses for every chapter. Lifeboat 12 by Susan Hood is not quite available in our Dewey School Library just yet, but it is available from the Livingston County Library on Hoopla as an audiobook that you can listen to or on Libby as an ebook that you can read. Ken is a 13 year old boy who's growing up in England during World War II. His father and his stepmom decide that it's not really safe in England anymore, so they're going to send him on this big cruise ship um, across the ocean with 90 other kids, and they're going to live in Canada for a little while until the war is over. When Ken finds this out, he's really torn between um, being glad to get away from his really mean stepmom, and also between feeling very afraid to leave everyone and everything that he's ever known and loved. But once he joins the other kids on the trip, he realizes really fast that things aren't that bad, and that this might be a change for the good. They board the ship, but the ship doesn't leave the dock quite yet because the soldiers have to make sure that um, there aren't any German bombs in the water where they're going to be um, going through and because the weather's kind of bad and so they wait a few days before they leave the port. In the meantime the kids explore the cruise ship and the cruise ship is uh, huge and it's super fancy and because of the war the kids aren't really used to eating really big meals with um, tons of different food but on this ship there is lots of food and they can have as much as they want. Also, they each get their own big, nice bed, and they have freedom all day, every day, to just roam the ship and play all day. So, of course, they are in heaven. They love it. And finally, after a couple days, they get to leave port and get on their way to Canada. Um, after a couple days uh, on the water, they finally think that they're out of harm's way from the German bombs and they're smooth sailing. But something happens. And I'm not going to tell you what, because you have to read Lifeboat 12 to find out what happens to Ken and all these kids that are on the ship. <laughs> 